Hey, it's some old guy coding again today, and I'm moving along on my little project here, but uh, after I get everything connected up to the mixer, and uh, I'm using just a little speaker over here that's uh, plugged into USB, right there, and, um, AUX mode. AUX mode. And I'm getting some 60 hertz hum. So, it, I don't know where it's coming from. Everything's plugged into the same outlet strip. Um, this uh, tone generator, the Hammond tone generator, is uh, got the ground to the frame. If I take the ground off the frame to my circuit here, the buzz gets worse. Nope. But it, it goes away there, but when I try to play tone, it gets worse. Let me see if I can bring that up here. Yeah, that's 60 hertz hum. If I clip that there, like it should be, because I need a ground between those two, then it sounds like it's supposed to, but it's still passing through a hum. You might be able to hear the tone. And there's a little screaming from someplace. You can hear the 60 hertz hum in the background. So I ordered this thing, it's the Pile uh, Mini 2 Channel Hum Destroyer, PHE 300. I don't think it was very expensive, I'll uh, put an overlay up here. And, and of course it doesn't take power, it's passive. So we're just going to put one of these in line here. Input, and I'll take the output, hmm, come out of there, to the output here. And then we'll plug this in. Ta-da! No hum. Perfect, it sounds beautiful. So this little puppy did the job for me. However, when I want to update the Arduino, and uh, I, I'm going to run MIDI to the Arduino through the USB cable, so the USB cable is going to have to be connected to a computer. So I will grab the USB. I currently have it in a uh, charger down there. I'm going to move it up to my computer here. Okay. lovely 60 hertz hum when all the tones are, are open. Let's try a couple here. And that, that buzzes back. So, I ordered this product here today. <clears throat> this is uh, High Let Go, and it's supposed to be a isolator, a four channel uh, isolator module. Let's take a look at that here. comes with its own <clears throat> USB cable so you don't have this module hanging off the back of your computer or whatever. Let's go ahead and unwrap it here. Excuse me while I find a sharp object. So let's go ahead and just open her up here. Let's see what's inside. Yeah. Now this is wrapped. It's interesting. It's wrapped, and it doesn't feel like it's supposed to be peeled off. It feels pretty heavy duty. I think that's in place of a case. There's also some external uh, connections here for an external power. I'm not sure how that works. <coughs> but we can also power it externally. Maybe there's a jumper or something we have to change. I am not sure because it really doesn't say on the Amazon page, and it didn't send anything other than what you see here in the package. But uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, maybe. Let's see if it works first. So I'm going to plug this in here. And I'll plug that into the computer. Alright, and we 
get a power light. Hopefully that's a good sign. And I'm going to plug my uh, project into one of these guys. Oh, the power is up. Look at that. And there's still a lot of buzz in there. Let's try it again. Yeah, that helped. Look at that. And it even supplies power from, uh, I don't know how they do that, either from the computer or if they get a, some circuit here that generates the power. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it works at all, but it seems to work. So it won't short out because it's covered by a nice heavy-duty plastic thing. I might look at 3D printing a, a case for this. all the tones coming through. Some little noise coming through in the background there. Anyway, it seems to do help, if nothing else. There's still a little screaming in the background. I don't know if that's the microprocessor getting through somehow or what, but we'll continue to look at it. But it was a step in the right direction. So both these products seem to work really good. One thing I haven't done yet is uh, the, my mixer here is a, a mixer that also has USB on it to send to the computer. So I'm going to plug that into the computer too, which probably generates creates another ground loop. Let's see if that worsens anything just uh, while we have it on camera here. No, oh, that doesn't seem like it's worse. Yeah, sounds okay to me. Great. All right, because we'll work on that little screaming in the background uh, as we go along here. Perhaps a, a small capacitor across the, uh, the output here. Yeah, a little capacitor would take care of it. Maybe something smaller, because I think this attenuates the or changes the sound overall a little bit. But we'll play with that. But I just wanted to show you that, yeah, this works. And yeah, this works. Pretty doggone amazing. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can see future episodes from this channel. And if you'd like to help out and support this channel, uh, go to patreon.com slash coding for as little as a dollar a month. We really appreciate it. Thanks. See you soon.